Hi you guys, I'm Philosophical. Thank you for clicking on my channel. We're healing over here, unconventionally. Whether they like it or not, thank you so much for all your support, Pisces. All your donations are very much appreciated. If you would like to donate, there's a link for PayPal or you can cash at me at Philosophical369. Okay. This is going to resonate with every Pisces. So don't force it. That's going to be a quick message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Cross Watcher. Archangel Michael, please leave out any negative energy and, and protect me during this message. This one, it's got the princely. So you may have a choice. This one, it's like that, what's that song with the king? Your father will disown you. So somebody's father may have disowned somebody for being with somebody here is what I'm picking up. Marry him. Or marry me. Yeah, spin doctors. So I feel like somebody's going to try and put a spin on something or they're trying to figure out this is either you or someone you're you're dealing with. I feel like somebody, you're either you or someone you're dealing with may have a choice between different types of men, maybe from lessons having to be learned, right? Somebody may be a little intimidating to somebody now. Somebody buys you flowers. This one likes to talk. So I feel like somebody, either you or somebody you're dealing with is like, okay, like this is what I need now because I've gone through this and I've gone through that and I realize now that this was no good for me and this, that, or the other, okay? I feel like that's what's happening here. Uh, what is the message for Pisces or Crosswatcher? Fool. So somebody, some of you are Hayokas, all right? No, it's not everybody. Everybody wants to be a Hayoka and it's just, there's not that many, okay? But um, let me see what this is first. This could be, so for those of you who are in the light attribute, it's like you're laughing at your pain now. You're like, damn, I'm, you know, uh, why cry about it, right? Um, it's easier to laugh about it. It's like we always feel better laughing, right? It's like, why are we programmed to believe in this matrix that we had to cry about shit that we've been through? So I feel like a lot of you high-vibing Pisces uh, or someone you're connected to is laughing or teaching people how to just laugh at their bullshit right now the shot and some of you are just you like to make fun of people or you mock people and i feel like you know those of you who do that you look like an absolute fool or someone you're connected to i don't want a pretty mother heart to breathe so somebody's like i'm not allowing my heart to be broken nice try i've had it done night in reverse all right so there's somebody around you or some of you this is you where you're just not loyal somebody is seeing you as like uh like romantic delusion this is somebody who like says I'm, i love you on the first day or let's move in on the first day and it's because they can get something out of you okay trickster energy yeah so either you are this person pisces or this is somebody that you were dealing with that hopefully you're not dealing with anymore um that maybe you had to leave out the cold i feel like somebody if somebody did this to you or somebody tried um you know, this is something, so you had a lot of karmic relationships, okay? You're realizing or somebody close to you is realizing that they had a lot of karmic relationships and they can't be fooled anymore. Somebody here can't be fooled uh, by romantic delusions anymore. They've been through it already. Somebody put the work in already, okay? There's somebody here who's like, I put the work in. I'm cutting out anybody who wears a mask. Anybody who comes at me talking about, hey, baby, you know, I love you. You know, we're not doing that shit anymore, right? You're very, you're very confident and you're very grateful, uh, probably by yourselves for a lot of you all right or this person that you're dealing with somebody i feel like somebody here feels lost because you put the work in okay somebody's like god uh, damn man i can't believe you worked on yourself because when you weren't working on yourself um i could fool you and now i can't fool you somebody um Oh, somebody here is pissed. Somebody here is feeling some kind of way that they didn't put the work in with you or this is how you feel about somebody else because somebody else is seen as an absolute walking blessing here. And um, aha is playing. Somebody's like, aha, somebody gets it. Like somebody actually gets it. Like I'm the walking blessing, okay? I'm not going to be disappointed anymore because I understand that I'm the fucking blessing here. This is you or somebody you're connected to, Pisces, okay? Somebody may want to apologize to you or you do. Somebody freed themselves from like toxic, just toxic people, uh, people who, uh, it's just, you know what this is reminding me of? Uh, love bombing, narcissistic love bomb. I don't know what to say. Somebody doesn't know what to say here. Somebody can't even come up with an excuse. Like somebody's like, I don't know how to come at you Pisces anymore. I'll be coming for your love. Like somebody's like, I want to come back. Somebody wants to come back. 
but they don't even know what to say because somebody's so different. Somebody put the work in. So, somebody put a lot of work in themselves and they did the shadow work, uh, uh, the light work and everything in between. And somebody else is like, somebody's not in victim mode. Maybe you were before or someone you were dealing with, they're not in victim mode anymore. Now they're in like manifestation mode and shit. Hmm. Oh. Empress, yeah. Somebody realizes they backstabbed and betrayed a motherfucking empress, my G. Either you are this empress, Pisces, or you did this, okay? Yes. The better to be safe than so. Somebody's be playing their life safe than sorry now. Somebody could have been like just very kind of like lackadaisical and they trusted everybody and they thought everybody was like them. No, somebody's not fucking with tricksters anymore and somebody's not letting people victimize them anymore and they're not playing victim anymore. Truth. Period. Somebody is on their path. They're focused on themselves. They mind their own business. Somebody learned a lot of lessons here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Somebody's very reliable. They realize they're loyal. I'm loyal. I'm a loyal friend. I'm a loyal sister. I'm a loyal aunt. Whatever it is, someone knows they're loyal, they're reliable, and can't nobody tell me any different. Somebody realizes I made a fucking mistake. I backstabbed and betrayed an empress who was the most loyal person in my life. Either you are this empress, right? Or this is who you're dealing with, okay? Somebody's realizing now, okay? Somebody's looking at things differently. Like, damn, man, this person, like, uh, I could have been on fire. And they would have jumped in at fire with me. Now I freaking destroyed that. Now I'm with somebody who, uh, they trying to set me on fire. It's that kind of shit. Where are we at? Six minutes? Somebody has no more worries anymore. You're all the things I've got to remember. So somebody's thinking about somebody here. Uh, somebody here also knows that they, somebody sees somebody like they have everything they want. They keep getting everything they want. This person never goes without anything. There must be something about this person. This person must be blessed by the hand of the G.O.D. Somebody don't want to take somebody on anymore. Somebody got really a lot stronger here too. Somebody's been fighting their entire life. This is the wounded warrior. Somebody has had their guard up and had to guard themselves or like defend themselves against people their whole lives. Uh, and they're not doing it anymore. And somebody's like, I feel like they're actually somebody in this energy. They're content being in this energy. They're protecting themselves. Somebody also knows they're very spiritually protected here. This is either you or somebody that you're dealing with Pisces, okay? Or some, for some of you, somebody needs that spiritual protection from you, okay? You know where it fits? I got all kinds of people watching my shit and commenting on my shit. All kinds of dingbats and non-dingbats, okay? Catholic girls start much too late. So somebody could have, uh, you could have gone to a Catholic school with this person. Maybe you guys went both went to the same school or you were in Catholic school with somebody that this is, you're connected to. Somebody could have started late in life. Like maybe they didn't have sex at an early age. Like somebody here was labeled, I feel like it was easy. And the funny thing is, is like, I think this person probably slept with less people uh, than most people that they know. But somebody, this is like jealousy or locked you. Somebody locked, tried to lock somebody away. Somebody for things that you might have done. So somebody's getting locked up for things that they did. The good die young. Somebody could be dying here. Somebody, or if they did die, I'm sorry if they did. A Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Pisces. <sighs> somebody's going to die. I ran with a dangerous crowd. So some of you could have ran with a dangerous crowd before. Uh, there's a Taurus who's coming up as the greatest of all time. Okay, they're coming up in your reading. Either a Taurus sees you as the greatest of all time, or you see a Taurus as the greatest of all time, or there just is a Taurus who's just straight up uh, the greatest of all time, regardless of what somebody thinks, okay? That stained glass curtain you're hiding behind. So I feel like there's some, either you or somebody else is like, I see behind all these religious folk. I, I see the mask behind these religious folk and these Christians. Somebody here is like seeing past some kind of doctrine here. There's a female Taurus who's being seen as the greatest of all time that's in your life. Somebody is being seen as like innocent and other people acted like it. This could be the sister of somebody you know, or for some of you, this is your sister. All right. What's up with this sister? What's up with this sister with this Taurus and a male cousin? So you could be trying to get in contact with somebody through someone's sister and their cousin for some of you. I better laugh with the sinners and cry with the saints. The sinners are my... So somebody thought that... Somebody realizes that the sinners... So those of us who know, like, we're not sinners. Like, 
right? We we make mistakes. So what I, but I feel like the word sinner is like so like dark, you know, it's easier to say we all make mistakes. And like God knew that it's like, you don't have to go and confess and repent. You just got to try and better yourself. But the, the words with Catholicism are just so kind of dark and it makes you feel like you're being punished. And that is not at all what God's like. Okay. Unless you fuck with his people. But I feel like somebody here is like, yeah, so I make mistakes. What? If somebody freed themselves from either a doctrine here or somebody could have also been told that they have a voodoo doll. Somebody's sister uh, and their cousin could have been exposed for making a voodoo doll about some, uh, of somebody. They're a criminal. So somebody, either you, this is either you, Pisces, okay, or somebody that you're dealing with made a voodoo doll of somebody's sister. They're a criminal. They're being exposed as a criminal. I just smell like rotting flesh. There's a demonic presence. I can smell demons, okay? For those of you who know what I'm talking about. Somebody may have blamed you uh, for this voodoo doll. Or you blamed somebody else. You know how this goes. You know if you made a fucking voodoo doll or not, Pisces, right? Okay? Somebody was hateful, though. No doubt. Where are we at? 11 minutes? Let's get another one of these. Well, let's get one of these. Yeah, somebody's like, wake me up. So somebody knows they came here to wake people up. Okay, Cher's playing. Somebody could be gay. Somebody could be like secretly gay. Oh, that was just an advertisement. But that was still there for a reason. Somebody's name could be Cher. Or somebody that, that you're dealing with or you like Cher. And then there's, what about love? Don't you want someone? And me. So somebody realizes that there was a lot of people pretending in their life. Somebody found balance and harmony. You did Pisces or someone you're dealing with. Found balance and harmony with somebody else possibly. But somebody realizes somebody was just pretending to be something that they're not. You've been hiding. Yeah, somebody's hiding. Somebody found balance in solitude. They found balance. You got six and nine. Six and nine. 69 is about disattaching from material items and also uh, closing a very difficult cycle. Somebody, you or someone you're connected to is, is closing a very difficult cycle. Up, okay. And they did this by themselves. They had to sacrifice a lot of things. Okay. But somebody found peace and harmony by themselves. You could have done this with another person or you could just do, be doing this by yourself. Yeah. Somebody's also standing their motherfucking ground. Seven, spirit. Somebody's very connected to spirit here. They have a lot of spiritual strength. They have a lot of spiritual protection. And they know this. Somebody just knows it. Like, like I'm a badass and I can expose and whistleblow because I understand that I'm always going to be protected. And anybody that comes for me, yes, it going to get it. Okay? It going to get it. So, yeah, somebody knows if somebody messes with me, uh, it's a wrap for you. This is you or maybe this Taurus that you're connected to. Yeah, somebody's coming up as this Ten of Pentacles energy. Somebody's standing their ground by themselves, finding balance and harmony if they're being betrayed or, you know, whatever the shit is that, that you went through with this person. I feel like somebody knows somebody's in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Somebody stood their ground up to an entire group of people here, too, by themselves. Yeah. And now this was their job. Somebody knows that this is why they came here. They signed a contract. Their job was to take out a bloodline uh, or just a toxic group of people. This could be like um, people who mess with spell work. This could be just criminals, like a family of criminals. But somebody here knows like, uh, I know I signed this contract, right? I know I'm getting this generational wealth because I put the work in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, too many, please. Tell me more. Give me something else, please. Give me something else, please. Nine of Wands, and that's why they protect themselves so much. This is why they have their guard up here. Uh, because they know that they put the work in. They know that this Ten of Pentacles is here, if it, uh, or it's coming. And this, they know this is their justice. They know justice is here. That's it. And somebody's like, what about love? And you're like, bitch, what's love got to do with it, motherfucker? All right? Somebody's focused more on their pentacles than they are love here. And that's what that's what they needed to do. Somebody was so focused on love and making other people happy. 
Yeah, Knight of Swords. I feel like somebody now wants to come in, right? Put your guard up here, Pisces, or this person is, right? Because somebody's going to want to come in now because you are in this Ten of Pentacles energy. They see you putting the work in. They're going to come in and say, I want to put the work in. And I feel like, you know, if this is somebody from your past, right? Or you are this person that's trying to do this, right? You know what side you're on. I would say be very wary of whoever this person is. Part-time lovers on. Ha! <laughs> Time lover. So this is a warning, right? If you have somebody wanting to come in Pisces or you are this person, somebody already knows. Do a part-time lover, motherfucker. No, I don't do part-time lovers. I saw the thief card. Somebody knows somebody's a con. Somebody knows already. Yeah, part-time lover. Gossip. So somebody could be talking about you, Pisces. Why? What's this gossip here? Somebody's gossiping about somebody's uh, involvement with the, uh, they could be, you could be gossiping about a Libra. They could be, people could be gossiping about a Libra specifically, uh, but generally speaking, undercover lover. Somebody's an undercover lover, all right? Somebody could be a prostitute or like an escort or something. But I feel like somebody's, um, what is this? Somebody could be gossiping about a Leo and uh, a Libra here, okay? Uh, but generally speaking, I feel like people are talking about the justice that you're getting. They can see it because you're exposing. You could have exposed a Leo. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a Libra. Pisces. You could have been dealing with a Libra, uh, a Leo, and a Pisces. That this, the, All these people could be gossiping about you. These could be the people that were gossiping about you, Pisces, or you were doing this. But I feel like there was three people in particular that were gossiping about you, and now they're all stressed the fuck out. These people are exposed. Uh, people, someone's aware of, of something that happened. There's justice being served here. The scales are being balanced. But anybody that was talking shit about you, slandering you, start you know, smear campaigns I'm getting, anybody that was in this devilish energy, um, they're exposed. And I feel like uh, you had or someone you're connected to has something to do with it, and they're broke as shit. These are people who abandoned you, who thought that you were going to be homeless. Like, they're going to be homeless and they talk shit on you. I feel like they're spying on you. They were hoping that you were going to be in poverty. These people could have tried to get you evicted or tried to get you thrown out or something. It just gives me like a really dark demonic energy. But I feel like they gossip in because they can't take you down, okay? Or someone you're connected to, they can't be taken down. I'm going to get a demon card and then we're going to get out of here, okay? Chasing love. So somebody just chases love like... Up against the sun. So there's definitely something here about a Leo. Yeah, somebody here was a, a part-time lover. Like, they only loved for you or you were like this for what they can get out of somebody. All right? So there, I'm being told that there are most of you that happen to you. But there are some of you who are watching this and I'm being told you know who you are. That you are this part-time lover. Alistair. Mm -hmm. Alistair and Sabat. Okay, no one wanted, somebody doesn't like leaving their name. Somebody doesn't like putting their name on anything because they they were smart. Uh, because they know. So somebody here was a part-time lover. Like They didn't want any homes in their name. They made sure that whoever they were dating, they put it in their name or credit card. Somebody was very smart. They didn't want to put their name on anything because they know that they leave once shit goes bad. Somebody here is a fucking opportunist here. Focus on tradition and ceremony. Surround yourself with family and like-minded individuals. So I feel like that's what you're doing. Like you're cutting out anybody who doesn't think like you, speak like you even. <laughs> um, you're just cutting people out who aren't good for you, right? Alistair. Vengeful action. So be careful of somebody coming back uh, because they want vengeance, okay? Uh, you know who this is. And for some of you Pisces, you are this person and it's not going to work. All right. I love you guys. Pisces, I hope you have a good day today. Bye.